Um, you see, capitalism can only exist as it is today because of an acute case of mistaken identity. Because you cannot exploit, oppress, coerce, or abuse in any way those people that you identify with. And what we have in capitalism all over the world, we have these, we have these spurious identities that exist only in our imagination. These false communities, if you like, of, of say, for argument's sake, the great one is the nation state. Mm -hmm. Nobody chooses where they're born, the time of their birth, the politics, the traditions, the customs, the education, the religions. And what we do, as young children, we identify with what our parents identify with, which is natural. And we're conditioned by our situation. But you see, the great thing about us human beings is that we can recognise that. And in reconditioning ourselves by examining our, our situation, we then can go on to recondition our situation itself. Do you see what I mean? So part of persuading people, uh, or, or re-educating people, I guess, is standing in the selection. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, we, 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 we're, we're not here to, 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 to we, we don't propose to run capitalism. Mm -hmm. What we're here to do is put forward our, our analysis, our ideas, our proposition, mm -hmm. so that we can end capitalism. Mm -hmm. So that we can therefore have a, I mean, I've got to get this in. The object of the Socialist Party is the establishment of a system of society where the means for producing and distributing wealth are democratically controlled by and in the interest of the whole community. So, uh, and to elaborate on that, I mean, all societies are social relationships. So therefore, the more we know about what we're relating with, the more we know about who we're relating to, the more functional, the more functional, the more human that society will be. So you're essentially talking about economic democracy, democracy over what we're producing. Oh, exactly. So exactly. what we have now, um, in terms of democracy, in terms of voting for our government, councils yeah. and all the rest of that, is that real democracy? Or well, no, because, not far no, no, because real, real democracy obviously is the economic democracy. When you have, you have, con you know, when, when you have control of the means of producing. Mm -hmm. You see, we see it is that the, and I mean, oh, this, is, this is irrefutable. We see it is that the natural and industrial resources of our home planet are the common heritage of all humans. Is that not right? Would you not? I mean, I, I find that irrefutable. And 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 and, and, and secondly, you see, we all sh every human on this planet, every human that's ever lived, is living or will live, will be a member of the same human family because we all share the same ancestors. And in a family that functions as a family must, if it's to be a real family, mm -hmm. we bring according to our ability and we take according to our needs. Mm -hmm. Now. We don't recognise, as I said, it's a case of mistaken identity. We don't see ourselves as, I mean, me, I identify myself as a member of the human family, so what I want, what I want is a family life mm -hmm. where I can bring according to my ability and take according to my self-determined needs as a member of that family. Now, you can only, so when you bear that in mind and you look at the way society's run now, it's little wonder that our society is dysfunctional. So you said self-determined needs. Yeah. That's quite an interesting phrase, isn't it? Exactly. You know, because... Well, well, I mean, what well, I think of my needs yeah, exactly. is very different from what exactly, you're exactly. I mean, you know, it might be because I'm greedy. Well, you see, the thing about <laughs> well, you see, I, I might, don't. Yeah, I might yeah. think I want five TVs. And well, a lot, see, a lot of people out there, they, you know, they, they look at people like you know, grabbing this and grabbing that and all this kind of stuff. And what they do is they see that as greed. But you see, greed isn't a fundamental facet of our human nature. It's merely a symptom of a situation. Now, we live in a world that's dominated by poverty. And what every one of us has to do every day of our lives in capitalism is to play the game of poverty avoidance. Mm -hmm. And what that means in capitalism is that we have to try and grab as much material wealth for us as possible to ensure our, to ensure our survival. Mm -hmm. So basically, what, what greed is, is the fear of not having enough. Now, we are quite capable of producing an abundance of all the things that make life fulfilled and fulfilling for all of us. I mean, with every human, every human being comes equipped with a mouth, but they also come equipped with a pair of hands and a brain and an imagination, potential and creativity. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing is, if nobody works, nobody lives. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, if we all work well, everybody lives well. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you know, and I mean, once we, once we discover, you know, once we discover who we are as human beings, and I think we're on the verge of 
what we'll have, we'll leave this immature society behind. We'll, we'll, we'll then inhabit a society that's come of age, that's, that's completely this historical rite of passage. Because when a, when a human being comes of age, they become an adult. And being an adult, they know who they are, know what they want. And there's a qualification that comes with being an adult, and that is you're qualified to take, to take responsibility for children. If we look at how work today, that don't happen. Mm -hmm. So our society is immature. Once we recognise who we are, once we, once we acknowledge our common identity, then we'll be an adult society and we will take responsibility so for how the future. Are, so how close are we to growing up? Um, I think we're on, you know, I, I, I think we're on, uh, uh, use, the, use the Marxian phrase, I think we're on the, on the uh, yeah, we're, we're nearing the end of prehistory. What's the difference between the uh, Socialist Party and the, you're talking about a revolution and socialism and, and the working class and some of the other organisations, like the SWP and uh, Tusk, who's also standing in this election, and Respect and, the, and those kinds of people. Well, we call themselves socialists. Yeah. Well, you see, we, 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 would, con we would consider them pseudo-socialists mm -hmm. because the difference between us and them is democracy. Now, I joined this party on the basis that the moment I joined, I was given a rule book. Mm -hmm. And this rule book ensures, one, that from the moment I joined, I had as much democratic power as any other member, no matter how long standing. Mm -hmm. And two, that the party was run by its members and not the other way around. So you're saying the and, 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 and we don't call for reforms of capitalism. Mm -hmm. Whereas you've only got, you've only got to see like a, an, a, a, an SPG, uh, sorry, an SWP store anywhere, you know, more jobs, dump the Tories, all this kind of stuff. Well, what we call for is revolution, a conscious revolution. And what we, and now Vanguard Party. So that's all or nothing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, because, you know, I, you know if, if you see a problem, I mean, I'm a builder. And when you're a builder, I mean, it's, it's hard irks some work sometimes. So what you, what you do, you, you, you know, if you, if you have a problem, you isolate the cause. Mm -hmm. And then you sort the cause out. You don't sort out the symptoms. So realistically, what are you hoping? What's the, what's the best thing you're hoping for uh, at this particular election? Well, we're hoping. I mean, we're hoping to change people. I mean, you know, the great thing about human beings is they can change their minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, given better information, they can change their minds. What we what we have to do? I mean, it, 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 you know, we 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 we're, we're we're laden with prejudgments, mm -hmm. which are conditioned into us. I mean, when I was a kid, I, it was a, you know, it was black people, homosexuals. You know, they're prejudiced, you know, prejudgments about women and when they're all in society. Mm -hmm. Well, as, as society moves on, when information becomes more, more available, when people take up campaigns, when, when, when issues are pointed out, you know, contradictions are pointed out, we can change our minds. Now, we're getting, we're getting, over, the, we're getting over the, you know, the prejudice against women, homosexuals, you know, people. You know, pe people with different colours, human beings, family members, if you like, with different colour skins. Mm -hmm. Now, the last prejudice we've got to get over is the prejudice we have to our fellow human beings. I mean, we're told like, that the, the capitalism you know, it reflects our human nature, and that uh, you know, we're, we're greedy, avaricious, you know, we're lazy, we're indolent, you know, all this kind of stuff. Well, my experience points out, and I've been very lucky. I've, you know, I started off as a builder. I worked in heavy construction, you know, power stations, steel mills, all over the country. Travelled all over the, over the country. I've worked in Europe, and I've been around the world a couple of times. And in my experience, the vast majority of people I've met would rather see you fed than hungry. Would rather see you happy than sad. Would rather do you a favour than dump on you, tell you the truth, and tell you a lie. So therefore, the vast majority of people on this planet are decent. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you want the means to equal the ends a decent world, well, there they are. And all we need to do is to dump this prejudice we have that's been conditioned into us. I mean, clap on ice cream, you know. I mean, if you was to fall down and clap on ice cream, someone would come and pick you up. You know what I mean? That kind of thing. That's what we're like. I mean, because we're social beings. And it's through being social beings that, I mean, basically what you've got with human beings is the survival of the weakest. Raised against all the saber toothed tigers and you know, you know, all of the hyenas, leopards, you know, all those wolves, all those things that you know are far stronger and far, you know, far more aggressive. Mm -hmm. 
are more equipped for the pressure than we were. I mean, we, we've supplied by getting together. I mean, we form societies to increase our life chances. And you're hoping we're going to move on to the next stage? Yeah, yeah.